Hi, just a little uh, solar update is my existing in-phase system. It's doing pretty sweet, but uh, as I've discussed on the forum, I'm going to install a new system on this roof over here. This is the back pergola. There's the uh, three kilowatt system. That's still going strong as well. Of course, now it's on the uh, uh, eastern roof. It's not that great. You know, it gets decent early morning, midday sun, okay-ish midday sun. But it's definitely um, <laughs> it's, oh, not quite as unoptimum as your unoptimum. Is that a word? Not quite. It's not very optimum. That's that. That's for sure. But um, this one here on the front, this is facing, of course, the front of the house, which is the most ideal place to put a um, solar panel for our house. But um, unfortunately, it's um, you know it's a looks thing. Um, so anyway, I've got four and a half meters from there to there. We don't want to cover up the skylight. I could maybe fit an extra tiny panel there, but you wouldn't dick around. Um, so I can put an extra four panels there. So that's uh, 2.1 meters from the ridge top down to there. 2.1 meters by 4.5, and 4.5 is enough to put four, um, you know, full-size uh, panels on. Of course, mounting on this thing um, a little bit different to the uh, terracotta roof tiles that we've got here. Yeah, there's a bit of uh, lichen on those. Might have to, yeah, you know, you clean them off every decade or something. But anyway, um, mounting on here, yeah, I can uh, get standoffs. It looks like, so the ridges run in this direction like this, and looks like, I can't remember when they installed it, but um, there looks like there's beam running right across there, which is what it's screwed into there. But there's got to be, you know, there's got to be some uh, beams here going at, I don't know, 600 intervals if it's like a house or something like that. I don't know. We can't see it from the inside because the inside's all uh, gyp rocked and everything. So not uh, gyp rocked, it's like fiberboard and stuff. But anyway, yeah, so this is pretty ideal sun here so yeah um, of course you know really early morning it's going to be shaded by this bad boy we are going to trim some of that but uh yeah there's only uh so much we can do there but yeah this will get really good sun so four extra panels so i'm thinking four extra panels into another string and i can even get like big 500 watt jobbies as well and I'm, i think i'm going to install this all myself as well do the railing and uh, like do the whole thing um so i was thinking keep the existing three kilowatt system there that goes into one string of an inverter of course my current sunny boy inverter i'm gonna to have to upgrade that because that is just um like it's already three kilowatt maximum out even though it has a second string input but anyway if i can get a larger inverter uh with two string inputs and i can have this one as a second string um, and we are putting an extension on the house. So while that happens, I don't know, that'll take like six months to build at least or something. Um, both of the existing, the end phase system and the three kilowatt system has to come down. So this will be um, the only solar <laughs> array that we actually have. But I can have like a small little two kilowatt array here. I could have four 500 watt panels. You can get those larger, slightly larger commercial jobbies i think a normal panel is a just just over a meter by 1.7 as i said i've got 2.1 meters height there um so yeah i can i think the i think they will fit um a four 500 watt uh plus commercial panels on there so it could actually fit another two kilowatt system there but yeah anyway uh, if you've got any experience installing on these uh colorbond uh rooftops and uh Leave it in the comments down below, but I found like a clamping system, uh, Clenergy, I think uh, they're called, who did the uh, racking um, on the uh, new build. Um, then, yeah, they, they've got ones that, uh, you know, have the proper curved um, things to stop, you know, to keep the waterproof uh, seal on the uh, color bond roof there but yeah anyway that's the plan and we don't want to um we want to keep the skylight because we're actually getting rid of this skylight when the extension goes on here this will be one big extension here so the so these panel these systems will go back on but uh yeah um they will go back on the new roof once we extend upwards that's the plan but uh yeah it'll take a long time to build that extension so um yeah we want something in the meantime and we want some extra as well um, and then I can have an independent battery backup for this system and that'll give me some off-grid uh, backup, uh, power file backup as well. So yeah, there you go. That's the plan.
thoughts and comments down below. Catch you next time.